its inability to meet its financial obligations due to the COVID-19 pandemic and other factors. In Grenada, more than 100 of the company's employees were left jobless. President General of the Technical and Allied Workers Union, Andrew Lewis, says there is a light at the end of the tunnel. He is confident that the workers will receive what is due to them. Discussions are underway as to the payment for the workers. There are many different formulas that have been looked at, um, including um, potential investors in terms of liabilities. We have been constantly engaging the, the court administrator, um, appointed administrator. We have submitted, in Grenada's case and the other union's case, the what is a standing to the workers. So we have worked out the retrenchment, what is due in keeping with the collective agreement as to the last date of employment. The first phase of the new service will run from Monday of next week to December 13th. It will include stops in St. Kitts, St. Lucia, Barbados, Antigua, St. Vincent and Grenada. Director of Flight Operations, Captain Arthur Sinhaus, in a recent ABS interview says data shows that there is still demand for Liat service and the plan is to move people from as far north as Puerto Rico. There are some of our most profitable routes. Also, most of those islands lie within the OECS framework. So there are some standards that are common across those, those islands. And we are depending on the fact that the commonality will give us that platform and foundation so that we can launch and expand from, from each of those as they demand. While Liat may be back, the Blue Tail Airline will be operating with a much smaller staff. Only 163 workers will be engaged at this time, compared to the 667 pre-COVID-19. This includes 12 pilots, which is about a 90% reduction when equated to the 109 who were previously employed with the carrier. Tawu President Andrew Lewis says the situation looks grim, but it is not hopeless. And then there's a group of workers who were never placed on, um, on layoff who continue to provide service um, for whatever um, transactions that had taken place and continue to take place. The, the new schedule that they are looking at under the administrator um, has to do with um, looking at new arrangement for, for the workers that have been identified. And we are insisting that they fall under the union and the collective agreement articles and clause apply so that is, that is where we are, but we give the assurance to the, to the workers, whoever it is that a company will call back, that the union will continue to represent you. Phase one of the resumption begins on Monday and ends on December 13th. The airline says it will continue to review its performance and make decisions as time progresses. For GBN News, I am 